Welcome back to another day here on the Lorcana Pixelborn Client. Today we are playing a deck constructed by Alphos from the Alphos YouTube channel. This is an amber and emerald discard deck. I was going to say aggro, but it's not really aggro. It's got some aggro pieces like the Cursed Merfolks, the Flynn Riders, but this deck does really go heavy on the discard. But the reason why I want to play this deck is because it runs a very particular combo. And I just want to do the combo. That is... Kida, when you play this character, all characters get minus three strength until the start of your next turn. Plus, under the sea. It's an eight cost uninkable, sing together eight, put all opposing characters with two strength or less on the bottom of their player's deck in any order. Fantastic card. So basically the idea is you play, you shift out Kida onto your one of your little Kidas, right? So, so it can sing right away. So it's gonna enter, it's going to severely weaken our opponent's board state and then we're going to use kita likely along with something else to sing together the end of the seas it's a one-sided board wipe that is the idea that is the combo i want to pull off can we do it there are 15 uninkable cards in the deck notably it's curse merfolks prince john three copies of ursula one copy of chernabog and then the three copies of under the sea so we shouldn't have too many ink problems, but we'll see. Uh, notoriously, I do tend to have ink problems occasionally, so... And it hasn't happened in a long while, so I'm not expecting a lot. My allergies are absolutely awful this morning, so forgive me if there's some strange cuts potentially in this video. But I'm sure you don't want to hear me blowing my nose, so you're welcome. Before we jump into it, I am doing some uh, raffle giveaways. June 9th, I'll be giving away the two booster boxes back here, along with an enchanted uh, Beast Relentless and an enchanted Share Con. So first place prize is going to be Beast Relentless and a booster box. Second prize will be just a booster box, and third prize will be Share Con. The other thing we're doing is if you're a Patreon member, you can also then use the coffee link Anybody can use the coffee link, honestly. Uh, feel free to leave donations as much as you want. But if you happen to be a Patreon member and you leave donations in increments of $12.50, you'll also get raffle tickets for Elsa right there. PSA 10 Elsa. Giving that away at the end of July. You're going to hear more about Elsa uh, in the following videos for the next month and a half or so. But this will likely be the last time I mention the uh, giveaway for June 9th because I'm going to have to slow roll some of my video output to stretch content as long as possible with Pixelborn going down. So I don't know when this video is going live, but now I need to make sure it definitely needs to be live before June 9th. Otherwise, you guys are going to be like, Winter, that was yesterday. Or the day before yesterday. Winter, that thing's over. Why are you advertising it? So this will be the last time you hear me advertise June's raffle. So is Alphos' deck actually good enough to win some games? I don't know. Let's jump in. And see if we can't win a few. Sapphire Steel. Okay. There's Kida. And a way to search for the song. Alright, possibly a good hand here. Only thing I don't like is the Ursula. I think it was pretty good. Alright, we'll give it a whirl. Going second's not great, but we'll give it a whirl. Anna, what does that tell us? All right, let's. Uh, I, I I think I prefer Tinkerbell over Daisy Duck, having knowing nothing about my opponent's particular deck. I think the evasive will be nice. Force removal on it. They are in steel. I'm sure, they have all of the removal. Popsicle, then Ink, and then the uh, Triton's Decree, possibly. The one where I choose where two damage goes to one of my characters. No? Okay. Another tough decision. All right. Well, looks like it's going to be that one. Not so tough after all. If I had a way to look specifically at their hand, like say Bare Necessities, I would have gone for taking Fishbone Quill away from them. Ooh, a one jump. Okay, so they're still ramping. What's with their, uh... Oh, right, right, because they haven't inked. 
I'm thinking they're at three and they just paid for that. Yeah. Ooh, a Prince John. But we're looking at a board wipe here, right? Looking at a swords. So I think we're playing Ariel. All right, sudden chill. Sorry about that. And there's the under the sea. It's the only choice. I got the combo. It's too bad that... Uh, there's definitely going to be games that I've played that are not going to make it to this video. I've had this combo a few times, but every time I've had the combo in hand, it's always against an item deck. I've never had it against a character deck. <laughs> it's like the, uh, the combo's allergic to showing up where it's actually needed. And there's a baboom. Okay. Oh man. I don't need double Prince John's. A lot of unink 15 uninkables in the deck. I have had an issue with this all morning. Just so many uninkables. So many. I mean, we're gonna pass the turn. I think, cause what am I gonna do? I'm inking and I'm playing Curse Merfolk and I'm setting myself up for failure with the Grab Your Swords. Choosing to ink develop your brain. I was gonna say they must not have many ink options if they're choosing to ink it, right? Cause if they played it, they're looking for ink. So they may as well just ink it itself. And then they drew ink. <laughs> you know, they picked that up with Gaston. That's a weird pickup. Hmm. I need to ink. Oh my goodness. I'm getting really suspicious that, uh, something's busted. There's not that many uninkables in this deck. <laughs> well, the downside is, is I had to ink my combo piece. So now I need to find another combo piece. The upside is my opponent's only played one character the entire game. Well, scuttle. Watch them get a lucky dime. Oh, a fail to find. It is a you may ability. Yeah, they just need their Tamatoa. Gaston will attack Flynn. <laughs> they reduce Gaston's attack. That's ridiculous. That must have been a misclick. It was either a misclick or it's just the biggest flex in the world. Now they're gonna blow it up just to heal Gaston. Okay. Sure. You do you, boo boo. Alright, well, let's just go for victory here. All right, I hope you drew the answer. And they did. Fantastic. Ooh, Emerald Ruby. This should be fun. All right, uh, do I need the only copy of Chernabog in my opening hand? Uh, probably not. A little early for you, I think. Outside of that, do I like it? Not particularly. There. 
Not enough aggression. Like, there we go. Curse Merfolk, Flynn, Bare Necessities. This looks way better. All right. With a Curse Merfolk, I think I'm going to go right into that. All right. Here we go. All right. A little bit of aggro, a little bit of hand destruction. Should be fun. Yeah, it's an evasive deck. Okay. Good thing we got ways around that, huh? We're gonna go straight for that. You're interesting. You're very interesting. Don't know how good you are, but you're super interesting. Alright, pass and turn. Alright, there's several songs in the deck. I'm not sure we particularly need any of them. There is one in particular we do want for the combo. We're missing Big Kita, and we're missing the song. Evasive character, increased attack strength. Oh, opponent is discarding. Something tells me bare... Oh, Teeth and Ambitions. I was gonna say, Bare Necessities probably not hitting anything, but... Teeth and Ambitions. That makes you wonder. I think I still have to just go aerial here. We don't die on my room, no. Well, Ariel can sing that. That's fantastic. Flynn's another card to make him discard. And this time Pegasus doesn't just necessarily get a free attack. Lumiere could take it out. Oh, no. Sisu's gonna take care of Flynn. It's just an evasive deck. Okay. Alright, I think we've bounced Lumiere, right? Then they just kind of discard whatever. Yeah, I think it's fine. Sing, bounce, make opponent discard. Ooh, Big Flint's gone. Is it discard at random? It is discard at random. Okay. Mmm, lots of options here. Let's ink Cricky. Let's start with Ursula, and that'll tell me if I need to play the Bare Necessities. Okay, I don't need to play the Bare Necessities. I will instead play Flynn. Yeah, I had a feeling this probably wasn't going to be much of a show here. There's the big Pegasus. Yeah, it's just an evasive deck. Like, no other synergy or combos are going on here. <clears throat> oh, Tinkerbell, not bad. Pretty decent top deck. Oh. Yeah, let's do that. That's fun. I will go ahead and ink you. Quest here. Pass turn. Ooh, a Daisy Duck. I like Daisy Duck. Yeah, discard that last card. The Lumiere. All right, pass and turn. We've we've successfully taken out the opponent's hand, without even finding any of the like the major combos in this deck. All right. Oh, that's nice. When you play this character, all characters get minus three strength until the start of your next turn, which means there won't be a Prince Eric getting nuked. So I can safely quest this turn with both my characters. That's pretty sweet. Alright, well that's not a card I wanted. 
if I'm being honest. All right. So if I do that, they have to take out Tinkerbell. Yeah, they have to, because otherwise I'm representing lethal. Okay. When this character is banished. This is looking for two strength or less. Okay. So I think, yeah, we're banishing this. Because this is really the threat. We're not banishing it. We're balancing this. All right. So they could definitely take out one character, but they can't take out both with just what they have in play. Oh. They should have used that. Oh, Sisu. That's going to get rid of two of my characters. And then big Sisu attacks. Yep. Oh, they had big Sisu. Of course they did. And now they quest for victory. Dang, dang, double dang. I would need something pretty incredible here. It's not good enough opponent now just quest for victory. Man, it would have been cool to get any of my awesome combo stuff. Hmm. Okay. Okay, Ruby. Amethyst. Hey, I gotta go first. That's almost weird. Okay. Mm, it's missing a lot of important pieces. I think I'm actually gonna send Kita back. I'm gonna send Cricky back. And I'm gonna send Kit back. I already have my turn three play. Okay. Now it's a question of ink. And I think I'm inking Kita. What do I have to fear from the opponent, right? Rafiki? Kita's good against Rafiki. That's not enough for me to care. It's not enough for me to care. Maybe it should be, but it's not. <laughs> oh, did I set this? Is this the new one? I don't know. It looks cool. I don't remember setting it to that. Alright, opponent's got lots of options. There's the Rafiki. There's the Manny. So that's kind of more what I expected. Alright, let's put you away. Let's play you. Pass the turn. So now, the thought is play Prince John, sing Sudden Chill, get my card advantage, then Flynn will be exerted for the attack. And if it is attacked, uh, opponent's gonna do a lot of nastiness to me. Hmm. I don't think the plan changes. It just means I'm on more of a timer. Sudden chill or bare necessities? I think bare necessities. Lots of queen castles, okay. Alright, well now I know Ursula's not gonna hit anything. Not yet, I mean one card potentially. Pay attention to see if they play it. Yeah, here's a good example of this being different than paper. I can see what they're actually playing. I know what which card they drew. It's this card now. So if they end up playing it, I know the rest of their hand thanks to bare necessity, so I know these Ursulas don't hit. Except for possibly that one card. Let's start with an aerial. Let's go ahead and sing this with Flynn. <laughs> Pay attention, is it that card? It is that card. Alright, they got the biggest points on board. Nothing I can do about it. 
for now. Now the eggs are aerial, so I can't sing this effectively. All right. All right. Um, I think I'm just going to hard cast this, bounce the Flynn, make them discard at random. There goes a Maui. Oh, that changes the math a little bit, doesn't it? I want to take out the Madam Mim. Hmm. I don't feel like I need to be that worried. I forget what else is in their hand. This could be dumb. <laughs> this could be dumb, but I forget what else is in their hand. I, was there a goat, possibly? Oh, there is a fox. The Inca fox. You know, it looks like you do. All right, they're just looking to draw cards. Hmm. I don't think I can stop them from drawing cards. And I doubt Ursula hits here. Yeah, it's, it's the Flynn. Alright, nothing I can stop them to do from drawing cards, so there they go, they get the card. Thankfully, it's only one. And yeah, and I only got five attack next turn. I mean, my other option would have been to just attack the Queen's Castle. Huh. Mm, let's start here, actually. Let's see what opponents got in their hand. Maybe I get to draw a card. I do get to draw a card. Okay. Oh, I like that. That's a lot better. This will help me close the game. The other characters get plus three this turn? Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. I like that a lot. <laughs> All right, I'll keep the Bruno. I have something that can sing it now. Now you bounce it with a fox. Oh, a Lady Tremaine, uh, you can have Ursula. Is that still Flynn in hand? I think it is. <laughs> and Flynn's gone. Alright, so I play Bruno and I just get rid of anything I want, right? Do I need to? I think I just do it. Pay for it. Alright, that's gone forever. And now I just quest. I consider it as Chernabog the card that needs to come down right now. Alright, be prepared off the top, right? <laughs> oh, I thought they had it. I thought they drew it. <laughs> They're doing their darndest. And there it is, beating Ruby Amethyst. Ooh. And immediately I'm interested. What is my opponent playing? It's a ward deck, isn't it? It's a ward deck. It's gonna run Prince Philip. It's gonna run Aurora. Of course it's a it, it's gotta be a it's gotta be a ward deck. Uh don't need these. That's really expensive as well. I'd like a lower curve. Ugh, I like Ursula. I have a feeling she's not going to be very good in this particular matchup. I think that's going to be kind of aggro. Okay. A lot of good cards here. 
I think we're starting with a We Don't Talk About Bruno. Hoping I'm drawing ink off the top of the deck. It's always awkward. Like, discard. 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 Benefits from discard. You're like, oh, the whole hand synergizes. All right, there goes an Ursula right into a Develop the Brain. So already I'm knowing it's some kind of control. All right, these are control pieces. Ursula's got to sing something. All right, not discard. All right, we shall set up a Flynn. Quest, pass the turn. Now I can go John, sing the chill. Get card advantage. Okay. What are we thinking, opponent? Seen a develop, and I've seen an Ursula. What else are you running? You're obviously running songs. So funny enough, our Ursula send back bad choice. There's an item. Man, yeah, Ursula actually went really cool. Alright, Ursula's gonna get one of our sudden chills, so we're only gonna get one off. You work too, but you're not going to work here, unfortunately. I'll have you sing it. We'll see what I draw. Point of discards a Mickey Mouse and I draw not something I wanted. All right. Well, it is ink. That's good. Daisy Duck does need some ink. Second Ursula go. It must feel bad inking a $40 card. <laughs> I almost feel bad for them. I'd love for you to attack it. Okay. Ooh, there's the Ursula. I get immediate advantage with Daisy. I get recurring advantage with Ursula. Right, I'm just questing here. Easy. Easy quests. They want to trade the key to with that Ursula? That's fine. Let's see if they got the gas to get rid of my... Of, of my Ursula. Alright, Daisy will hit anything in their hand. Ursula is specific, so Ursula needs to go first. Opponent could be choosing to play the how far I'll go right now, just so we just so they don't lose it to Ursula. So it's possible that that was the only card in their hand. But we still Ursula first. Because the last thing we wanted to do is Daisy, which hits anything, if they discard the only thing that Ursula can hit. And they're aware of Ursula, so it's smart for them to do that. Alright. They're singing a bippity, returning their own character to replay character. They're gonna replay Mickey. Yeah, they're just ramping. There's the trade. There goes an Ursula. Nice, they're thinning their hand. Let's start here. And there is a thing to hit. That's why we do it. Oh, there's the Hades. So they're gonna discard the Mickey Mouse. I think that's perfectly fine. Yep, discard Mickey Mouse. Because we know you want Hades. Oh, Tinkerbell's good. That's a solid follow-up, too. Quest with both past the turn. Hades can't target Prince John, which is fantastic, but... So it takes out Ursula, right? Quest for two, recurring value. Yeah, so Ursula's gone. I mean, not recurring value anymore, really. Oh, not bad. Okay. Ooh, lots of fun options. But I think, more than anything, I would rather go... Let's start with an aerial. Oh, whiff, 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 whiff. And then we'll go with Tinkerbell. And I think I'm kind of out of value here. So we're going to quest. We'll just start trying to close this game. 
I don't want my opponent to draw an answer before I get my value out of my characters. The other, the flip side is to not quest and just try to get close with Tinkerbell, close enough for a big board go for it. Alternatively, wait one turn to play Kita so Hades isn't strong enough to actually attack. Alright, Bare Necessities does nothing at this point in the game. So it will be Akita, because attack strengths are meaningless here. Alright, you can't even attack my characters to death. Okay. Develop into develop. Into poop cycle. Still have not pulled off the Kita combo. Opponents are literally just spinning their wheels right now. They lost already. They're just spinning their wheels. There it is. <laughs> the mirror match. Except my opponent's probably playing Diablos. <laughs> I think Alphos put this deck together before Diablo was really like a central character. You know, if I keep this hand, I'm going to end up inking my aerials. Let's get rid of the Prince John. I hate to do it, but I actually don't have anything to really combo with him. Hmm. Not a big fan of it, my particular song choices here. Especially since I just put back Prince John, and these are the songs I would want to go get. There goes Akita. Diablo. Yep, they're definitely running the Diablos. Well, it's going to run some hand disruption on that for sure. All right. Here comes an Ursula. That's my guess. What do you think, opponent? Is it Ursula time? They're really not that under threat of this. All right, there we go. Opponent's finally making some moves. That was a long thought process. There's the Ursula as predicted. It wasn't, I, that was my initial thought. And then I backtracked a little bit thinking, you know what? That card doesn't do anything to them. <laughs> They have one character, and I'm ages away from being able to use it. Hmm, a churny boy. All right, I need ink. Gross! That's two aerials in the bin. Well, I'll take ya. Just, you are ink. <laughs> I think I have to take out this Diablo so they don't get the shift. It does leave me open for being, for losing the Kita and then having damage on the second Kita. It's fine, more characters in the bin is great for Churning Bug. There goes Akita. I anticipate my opponent's going to make me discard. Fantastic, no discards. I'll take you out. Thank you. Quest to pass the turn. I want to play Chernabog, but I have no faith that I'm actually going to get there. <laughs> I think my, my hand is going to be discarded. They're attacking. That's weird. Okay. Sure. All right. Opponent doesn't have a hand now. Unexpected. Oh, I'm glad I did that. 
That was almost bad. Alright, they play their character, then they take out Flint. Oh, they got a Diablo. Are you kidding me? Well, I could play a Chernabog here, couldn't I? I totally can. Alright, Chernabog costs four. Okay. <laughs> Chernabog for four. Opponent should probably... <laughs> you are so stinking lucky. What a top deck. What a top deck. That's enough to make anybody rage quit. <laughs> yep, go ahead, draw your card. Strike a good match. Well, I saw that they had a... Uh, Ariel, so they could swing Ursula at Ursula and then heal Ursula and draw cards. Now here's a morph. Alright, opponent gets to draw a bunch of stuff now. Cricky's fine, but I mean. Can't do anything about this Diablo. I have the answer in my deck. I just can't seem to draw it. Feels like this is going to be a war of who's going to get the, uh, what's, what's the name of it? Under the Sea. Who's going to get Under the Sea first? That player probably wins. I mean, obviously at this rate, they're going to get there first. They're drawing twice as many cards as I am. Thanks to that Diablo. Opponents really taking their time about this. I, I don't think it's that difficult of a decision. You have major advantage right now. They have a second Rapunzel in their hand. If they quest, they have a second Rapunzel in their hand. Oh, they probably wouldn't quest because of Cricky. That's the only safe quest. I need a top deck in Under the Sea. Ah, it's not an under the sea. <laughs> if I go to nine, I'm only gaining nine on the following turn. So I'd have to quest with both of these. I am leaving myself open, but ooh, a mother knows best. I'll take that. Thank you. Fast turn. Oh, that was a good snatch. All right, Mother's the one that bounces my thing, or is it the one that bounces their thing? Return chosen character players again. Yeah, that's my thing. <laughs> What's the other one I'm thinking of? Return your own thing. Oh, bippity boppity. That's what I'm thinking of. Those are both just the same card to me. <laughs> Man, could you could you just picture for a moment here? If I had. If I top deck under the sea, it'd be a major blowout. They have to attack. Yeah, I'm on plus nine. I have lethal. So send an Ursula and a morph at my Ursula. That stops me from winning and you only lose one character. You'll lose the other. You'll lose Ursula too, because I will take it out. If you send things at Cricky, then I don't even need to buy. I mean, yeah, you're taking an additional lore from me, but I don't have to bother with a counter attack. So all in all, it's pretty samesies. They're trying to figure out which which attack is the better attack. Oh, don't quest. And that's game. They can't win now. They had to attack to not die. Another cricky. 
Okay. They didn't have to lose there. There's a chance they could right two characters. Man, I wish I could view the board right now. Two characters takes out, let's just say Creaky, right? They lose two characters, I lose Creaky. Uh, I can only gain six now, which takes me to 17 at best. They quest with everything else, so minus two lore that they gain, so they're actually at nine. So plus uh, one, two, three from Rapunzel, four, five, six. I don't know, maybe. Maybe. 